All right. Let's go ahead and learn a little bit about Outlook. I'm going to try to tell you guys as much as I know about Outlook in under six minutes. You ready? All right. Let's do it. So I'm going to open up the client application for Outlook. And we are currently using the test account. Sorry, this thing is sent away. This is the Outlook client for my test account. All right. So I sent an email to this test account from my business email. So you can see there I sent a fake um, email asking about a birthday party. The first thing I want to show you guys is how to flag. So let's say you receive this email talking about a birthday party, right? But you run around like crazy and you're quite busy. But you don't want to forget about this um, email. So what you can do is you can set a flag on it. The first thing we need to do on the right side, I don't see my calendar. I don't see my task list. So I want to see that. So I'm going to go to view. And on the to-do bar, I'm going to drop down. And I'm going to say, hey, I want to see my calendar. And boom, there's my calendar. I um, also want to see my task. I don't really care about the people part. So I'm going to see my task listed right here. Now for this email, let's say, hmm, I'm telling myself, okay, I'm busy right now, but I know I need to respond to this by tomorrow. So you see this little flag right here. I'm going to go ahead and select it. And by default, it's automatically selected for today to remind me about it today. But I want to set it for tomorrow. So I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to say, remind me tomorrow. Right? And you can see my task here is tomorrow. So when I open up my Outlook client, and if I train myself to always check my task, I can see all my tasks listed here for tomorrow. I can also customize the date of when I want to set this task for myself. So that's tasking. It's a very useful thing to keep you organized and to keep things on your um, priority list. Let's say you're reading this email and you tell yourself, well, we need to send a meet and invite to plan this party because you know, you're someone that likes to talk rather than send email back and forth. And you want to invite me to that meeting. So what you're going to do is you're going to, from the home bar, you're going to select new item and you're going to say meeting. Well, you're not going to say it, you're going to select it. And the meeting window pops up. So what you see here is my email being pre-populated. But if this is your first time typing my email, it will not be repopulated. And I'll show you a simple trick to find people's email in your organization that are not pre-populating. You just simply go to check names. And would you look at that? It's asking me to select names that match that last name. So I'm going to select that and I'm going to select OK. And automatically, you know, populates the email for you, which is a pretty cool thing. So you'd have to actually remember people's email address. All right, so I'll go ahead and enter the subject, which is birthday planning. But let's say we're inviting multiple people and some people can't make it to that in-person meeting and they need to dial in um, virtually. Uh, one of the best tools to use will be Teams. So I just simply select that. All right, you can see here the meeting link has been populated. Uh, we're going to go over um, Teams capability in another video. I want to use this one to focus more on Outlook. So we have the Teams meeting and we can still add the um, room number. So let's say room 112. And so people know they have the option to come to the room or to dial in to the Teams meeting. And of course, you know, with any meeting, you want to list an objective or an agenda. I hope, you know, you want to have a more detailed objective, but this is just an example. So now trying to find the time, the start time for this meeting. You don't know my schedule, right? Let's say I definitely Let's say you know that you want to meet with me on Monday. So you'll click this calendar here and select Monday. But you're not quite sure what time I'm available. Well, we have the scheduling assistant for that. Let's go ahead and click on that. And here on Monday, you can see next to my name, the blue bar represents time that I am not available because I have a meeting or an appointment or something. So now you know that I should be available during the other time. So you can go ahead and pick maybe 11 a.m. That's a good time to meet. So once you select it, it automatically populates the calendar for you. So now let's go back to our appointment. We have our time. We have our location. You have the subject and definitely have the objective. And we can go ahead and click send. And if we go to my computer real quick, we're now in my email. So I received the email from test account saying birthday planning meeting at this time. 
and from there I can choose to either accept it or tell them uh, tentative I'm not sure if I'm gonna be busy or decline the meeting advice so I'll go ahead and accept it and I'll send a response if we go back to the test account you'll see here it says accepted right meaning that I've accepted the meeting if you notice here you have a focused and the other box focused are email that Outlook believe you would like to see and the other box are kinda like not spam email but Outlook understands you don't want to spam them but you don't necessarily want them clogging up your your day by having to read them either right so they they, they make it a pretty smart engine to differentiate between your most important email and your other less important email okay so I know I promised not to go over six minutes but I don't want to conclude the Outlook section without showing you how to set inbox rule we'll do that in the next video stay tuned